New at five, members of the Rhode Island Air National Guard are giving a helping hand. Today, airmen delivered a transport aircraft to members of the Iraqi Air Force. Several planes were purchased from the U.S. government, and today one historic acceptance ceremony took place here in Rhode Island. Eyewitness News reporter Andrew Adamson was there. He joins us now with a story from North Kingstown. Iraqi pilots are getting hands-on training on these cargo planes thanks to the Rhode Island Air National Guard base. I found out that it's not only a big honor for the local guardsmen, it also marks a big step in the relationship between the Iraqi and American militaries. They call it the center of excellence, and with good reason. The Rhode Island Air National Guard base was chosen to host a very special mission, training Iraqi pilots to fly these state-of-the-art C-130J cargo planes. All these uh, countries know this out there. The uh, active duty Air Force knows this. So they come to us uh, a little, little roadie uh, to help out with a pretty big mission. About 30 Iraqi Air Force pilots have been here since June, logging 250 hours of flight training with the C-130J aircrafts at the Quonset base. As part of an agreement with the U.S., the Iraqi government is footing the $681 million bill for the training and six C-130J aircrafts. It's very important, as you know, the, the aircraft is good, uh, it's good aircraft, high technology, and uh, uh, for us, uh, really, we are very happy for, for this aircraft. Working together for months has given the local guardsmen and Iraqi pilots a chance to bond as well. Both sides believe this bond will benefit relations for years to come. We've been their allies really since 07, um, and we're helping them uh, rebuild their military and their air force. To leave maybe more than uh, 20, 20, 30 years ahead, so it is a long term uh, relationship between our country Israeli. These Iraqi and American crews are now on to Georgia. They'll be in attendance when the Iraqi government officially accepts the new cargo planes on Wednesday. The first three C-130Js will arrive in Iraq over the next week or so, with the next three set to get there in 2013. With the South County Mobile Newsroom, Andrew Adamson, Eyewitness News.